From the 1011 Now Streaming Studio, this is 1011's Morning Pulse. Sponsored by Murray Roofing. Good morning, I'm Craig Allison here with your Morning Pulse for Wednesday, July 17th. Here's our first story up. LPD is warning about a fake social media post going around saying a young boy from Lincoln is missing. LPD says there is no person by this name in their system and they have no missing persons report filed for this name. They're asking people to not share the post or any other photos and that LPD's verified page will post when someone is actually reported missing. Number two, Grand Island PD is working to identify suspects in a shoplifting case at Sam's Club. Officers were called out to the store just after 7 p.m. Monday when five rings valued at more than $7,200 were stolen. Captain Dean Elliott says a woman distracted an employee by asking him for jewelry. The employee then turned off the alarm to help her, and that's when a man snuck up from behind and stole the items. Police believe the two are working together. In our third story, turning to our Lincoln Crime Stoppers, LPD is looking for this person of interest who came into Pinnacle Bank on 61st and Havelock on July 1st and allegedly forged checks in the amount of over $4,500. Those checks were stolen from a purse that was locked in a vehicle at the Holmes Lake Dog Park. The person responsible broke at least two car windows at the dog park and took two purses from those two vehicles. There are eight total cases, including the vandalism of the broken windows, credit card frauds from the individual using the credit cards, and forgery cases for the large forged checks. The last value on this is over $13,000. So if you can help LPD, you can reach out and leave a tip at LincolnCrimestoppers.com. Our fourth story is on the roads. A new state statute is beginning Friday. Drivers are no longer allowed to turn right or left when there is a red arrow. This update is a part of a number of efforts to improve street safety and reduce crashes. Under the new rule, drivers facing a red arrow must come to a complete stop and wait until the light turns green. And sticking to the state law, Pornhub is no longer accessible in Nebraska without verifying your age, where an ID card needs to be uploaded. Nebraska's Online Age Verification Liability Act defines a minor as anyone under 18, modeled after efforts in other conservative-led states as a way to reduce access to porn by minors. State Senator Dave Merman of Glenville says his law requires the company to verify a user's age and then get rid of the data. We're now going to turn over to our state highs with meteorologist Bill Rentschler. How you doing? We're doing okay. Uh, it's, it's bright and early this morning for me, so I mm. stayed up a little bit too late last night. Uh, so it's a slow start to the day, but it should be a, a pretty nice day. Okay. Uh, you know, we had some severe weather uh, yesterday evening, especially out in central and western Nebraska. That's not an issue today. Uh, and we're going to look for temperatures that are pretty comfortable. Upper 70s, low 80s for much of eastern Nebraska, uh, really for much of the state. You get out west, southwest, maybe a little bit warmer in the mid to upper 80s, maybe a few low 90s in the panhandle in southwestern Nebraska. But a really nice Wednesday overall, uh, so hopefully it helps us kind of get through uh, the middle part of the week into the second half of the week. And then again, you look at the extended forecast, it continues to look uh, not very mid to late July-like. Again, high temperatures, generally upper 70s, low to mid 80s as we head over the course of the next week. We'll keep an eye on the weekend, Saturday, Sunday, both have chances for some uh, showers and thunderstorms. And again, this time of year, you can never rule out the possibility for some severe weather. Right now, I'd lean towards Saturday being the better chance uh, as opposed to Sunday. So wouldn't cancel any weekend plans by any means, but I'd keep an eye on that weekend forecast over the next couple days. Well, it's definitely a great day, and we always appreciate you coming in early, Bill. So Happy, to it. It. Happy to and do it. Happy to do it. And thank you for the heads up on the weekend. Thank always, you. always keeping your eyes on the weekend. Yeah, just got to get ready for that rain coming up. <laughs> and uh, thank you for joining us here on Morning Pools. Be sure to tune into the desk tomorrow with more. You've been listening to 1011's Morning Pulse. Watch, listen, stream on the 1011 Now app, on YouTube, or wherever you get your podcasts. Sponsored by Murray Roofing.